God of miracles. Jeremiah 32 and verse 17. Our Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. This week, we are going to just talk about miracles and believe God for miracles in our lives. As we begin this week, I want us to recognize that our God is a miracle working God. He is the God of miracles. Now, what do we mean by a miracle? When you say a miracle, we're talking about a divine intervention in our lives, in the natural course of events, uh, in our circumstances, in our situations, uh, in uh, nature, uh, in the natural processes uh, that uh, we would typically be engaged in and involved in. When God intervenes, unusual things happen. We would say supernatural things happen. That means things that are out of the ordinary begin to take place. The impossible things begin to happen. Uh, things that we've never seen or heard before begin to happen. So all of these are miracles, God intervening in our life situations, circumstances, and in the natural processes of things. Uh, Jeremiah, in his prayer here, he says, Lord, I acknowledge that you are the God of heaven and earth. That means, God, you are infinitely great. You are infinitely powerful. You are infinitely mighty. Uh, you are God who is full of wisdom. You are God of heaven and earth. And he says, you've made the heavens uh, um, and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. And he says, there is nothing too hard for you. There's nothing impossible with God. There is nothing too difficult for God. And as we begin this week of miracles, I want you to embrace in your heart this truth. God, there is nothing impossible for you. What are you faced with? What are the miracles that you require, you need in your life? Uh, are there situations that need to be changed? Are there mountains that need to be moved? Are there doors that need to be opened? Debt that needs to be canceled? Sicknesses and diseases that need to be healed? God is there ready to work miracles for you and me. He is waiting. The Bible says He shows Himself strong on the behalf of those whose hearts are devoted to Him. As you and I keep our heart devoted to Him, God displays His power. That means He works miracles. We should expect miracles. The outcome of our hearts being devoted to Him is we see miracles in our lives because the Word says that God uh, uh, God shows Himself strong on the behalf of those whose hearts are devoted to Him. Get ready for miracles. Believe in the God of miracles. Let's pray. Father, we thank You that nothing is impossible for You. You are the God who made the heavens and the earth by Your great power and outstretched arm. I pray for everyone listening, God, whatever miracle they need, whatever divine intervention they need, whatever supernatural work they need, show yourself strong, Father, in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.